like stars. Japanese figure skater Shoma Uno admitted that he was in terrible shape before the World Championships. Uno leads a short program at the 2023 World Championships in Satama with 10463 points. In general, I'm probably satisfied with today's performance. Yes, of course, I could do a better step sequence, and some of the jumps didn't work out very well. But I don't regret anything. For the last couple of years, I have performed in competitions exactly as I was ready in training. And I'm used to it, I know how it works. But in the last 10 days, because of this fall in training, I was really in terrible shape. For me, this is a new feeling. I tried to figure out how to approach today in the best possible way, and I realized that just inner peace would not be enough. Therefore, I tried to recharge and motivate myself as much as possible and turn on the I go out to fight mode. And it helped. That's why I was happier after the performance than usual. One day, Shoma decided to try his hand at Kristalny, but in the end he earned exhaustion. Did the internship with Atari give him nothing? Shoma Uno is the main contender for victory at the World Championships in Satama. Already in the short program, the Japanese figure skater showed a fighting spirit, not giving up the performance, even after getting a leg injury in training. The athlete pulled ahead, beating the daring American Ilya Malin and obviously, he intends to defend his title by taking the second gold of the World Championship. A few years ago, it was hard to believe in this, since Uno bore the title of forever second. Despite his enormous talent, Shoma only took silver twice at the World Championships and once at the Olympics. Experts noted that for a confident victory he lacked willpower and strict discipline. For all this, the athlete went to Russia. The Terry Tuppers' internship may have been the harshest of his career and ended in exhaustion, but Uno's experience proved worthwhile. At the end of the 2018-2019 season, an information bomb exploded in the world of figure skating. Shoma Uno, the silver medalist of the Pyeongchang Olympics, broke off cooperation with his coaches Matiko Yamada and Mihoko Higuchi, who literally put the athlete on skates. Everything would be fine, but the Japanese expressed a desire to find a new mentor abroad, and not just somewhere, but in Russia. The figure skater wanted to do a month-long internship with a Terry Tuppards herself. It was a challenge both for the single skater himself and for the head of Kristalny. Terry Georgievna has never worked with such titled figure skaters, especially foreigners. But the coach agreed, because she understood that this experience would be useful for her. Tuppards has always respected the Eastern mentality, so cooperation with Uno looked extremely attractive. They were brought up not to ask questions. Even in my own thoughts. Our athlete begins to discuss with himself the task of the coach in his head, whether he should do it or not. Eastern people do not have this. They were told to do a redo, and they go and do it. In an interview with Ria Novosti Sport, Itari shared her thoughts on athletes representing Asian countries. A submissive and diligent skater why not a gift for a strict and demanding mentor? Sioma, on the other hand, turned to the Russian coach because he knew that she always gives results, and this is exactly what the Japanese lacked. His performance fell rapidly. There were problems with multi-turn jumps, which even women do in Kristalny, and with such ease that some men never dreamed of. So the decision was made very quickly, but in the process of training, Uno had to face a lot of difficulties. It was clearly not easy for a Japanese who had never left his country to adapt in Russia, and besides, he ended up in a tougher environment from a sports point of view. With former coaches, Uno could afford to relax and work half-heartedly if he felt a slight malice or lack of motivation to hone the elements. With Tupperids, he didn't have such a number for a ride, because Atari Georgievna was not used to letting skaters leave the rink until they gave their best. Difficulties arose, and when Sioma was forced to abandon his usual diet, not only was the food in another country completely different, because of which the skater went hungry for some time, it was now impossible to eat meat three times a day, as he did before. 
In Kristalny, everyone adheres to a strict diet, weighing themselves every day, and they hardly made an exception for Uno. As a result, the athlete earned a slight exhaustion. I heard that Sileman Russia is exhausted to death every day and still can't eat. I wonder what he eats, asked the elder brother of figure skater Itsuki Uno. Nevertheless, the Japanese did not give up and carried out the internship in full. Inagontarenko suggested that he was motivated by the goal of preparing as best as possible for the Beijing Olympics. Faced with problems, Uno did not take a break in his career, telling the whole world about his psychological difficulties, did not threaten professional seppuku from a misunderstanding of others, did not go to Canada to smiling Brian Orser, where yourself set the rules and play by them together with the coach, but decided to stick his head under Tupperidge's smile in the hope of getting a strict school in Beijing gold, she said in a comment to Ria Novosti Sport. True, Sialma was not ready for a full-fledged move, so a month later he left the Kristalny skating rink, going to the next coach, from whom he planned to gain experience. They became Stefan Lamiel, who later turned into a permanent mentor to the skater. And yet it cannot be said that working with the Russian coach was ineffective. Uno remembered his roots and regained iron self-discipline, which then helped him with the return of the quads. Watching one pupil of the group, Daniel Samsonov, who was then churning out a quadruple Lutz, Sioma noticed some technical details for himself. When I went to Russia, I assumed that there would be difficult training. There really turned out to be like that, but not harder than in my childhood. We can say that the work in the group of Atari Tupperids reminded me of the beginning of my career," said the athlete. So how did this fascinating story end? Uno realized that it was more convenient for him to move to big titles with a different mentor, but any experience leaves a mark on the life of a skater. Stopping two times a step away from winning the world championships, Sioma finally mastered the championship philosophy and took the main prize at the world championship in Montreal last year. And now he is rushing to the second gold of the world championship in Satama. The Japanese, who previously had a fighting character, did not turn back, although he injured his leg in training and showed class in the short program, pulling ahead. If, following the results of a free program, Uno beats the young and daring American Ilya Malinin, who knows if this would have happened without a grueling internship in Russia. Mm -hmm.